What's up, divas? What's up, divos? What's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube fan? What's up, YouTube models? What's up, YouTube trolls? What's up, you guys? So it's Wednesday, Real Talk Wednesday. It's actually really Monday. Your girl's on her job. Like, I'm on my job straight like that today. I did lose two pounds this week. I really wish it was more, but I'm going to take the two pounds just because I didn't add on. I said I would never do. I used to think that people look ridiculous pushing dogs in a stroller. Like, those type of people I always would say, you guys look really desperate like you really want a kid. You know what I'm saying? This is what at least I thought about it. Um, or the elderly, elderly people would have to have their dog in a stroller. Like, there was no way that I was pushing Pancake ever or any dog in a stroller, for that matter. That's just not my thing. Well... Let me tell you, I love to take Pancake on a walk with me. I did it with my other dogs before they passed away. And one particular walking partner that I had was my dog, Sugar. She was the best partner to go for walks with. Like, when I say she was the best partner, she just would stroll along. You know, she was a little older. And at the end, I did have to carry her, so she was a little heavy. But I still never thought about putting her in a stroller. But she was a good walking partner she just walk with pancake she just pancake just smells everything like she'll smell the sidewalk and like a few yards down she's smelling another piece of the sidewalk like you constantly have to yank on her so i stopped taking her like a 30 minute walk could be an hour and a half like walking with her so i stopped taking her i really wanted to take her because i hate leaving her behind she'd be crying for me so i bought her a dog stroller okay i bought her a dog stroller from walmart.com $51, okay? I did actually purchase it from Amazon. Same exact stroller, same exact brand for $89. And when I seen it on Walmart.com within a few minutes after purchasing it from Amazon, I hurried up and canceled my order before they took my money. So, yes, and got it in two days. Free delivery. So, hey. And so, yeah, we took on a stroller. It's a little jogger stroller. It's really cute. You know, I don't, like, I'm kind of wishy-washy about the whole thing. Like, I feel like I, I it's a cute thing. And it's it's super hot out here, you know? The dog's paws on the pavement out here will probably burn. It gets to like 120 out here. So, you know, early in the morning, it's like 100 degrees. But we went on a walk. She got her little jogger stroller. You know, she seemed like she enjoyed herself. We did that. Came back here, you know, took a shower. And here I am. It's Real Talk Wednesday. Even though it's actually Record Monday, here I am. And I hope you guys had like a really great weekend, week. You know, here we are. We're going to do this Real Talk. You guys already know with Real Talk. If you want to send me a Real Talk, you can send it to muffinismylovers2012 at gmail.com. Or you can also send it to aprilsrealtalk at gmail.com. I'll post everything down below for you guys. I actually posted a video recently on eyebrow try-on. And eyebrow try-on, 30 stencil eyebrow Okay, so 30 stencils, eyebrow try on. I found it on Amazon. You find everything on Amazon, okay? And for those who did see the video, this is the eyebrow shape that I love, which is the blessing eyebrow shape. It's, you know, it's it's just wearable. I think it just suits everybody's face, but I didn't use the stencil. I'm telling you guys, I love that NYX Lift and Snatch pen. It's amazing. Like, Eyebrow pen, lip, NYX Lift and Snatch Eyebrow Pen, that's a blessing. So you don't really need a stencil with that one. But I do like the stencils because there's so many different brows. You know, you could switch up your eyebrow game. But, you know, make sure you guys check it out. Just make sure you check it out. Other than that, I got two emails for this Real Talk. And one of them, you know, I don't know if it was supposed to be for Real Talk, but it was sent to me. And I felt like, you know, I'm going to share this with you guys because who else am I going to share this with? Let's, let's be for real. And it was so weird. It, it, not even, it wasn't even so weird. <sighs> Girl, I got the email on Wednesday evening. And I guess, well, I don't guess. I know for a fact that it was um, in a response to my Real Talk of last week. You know, I did tell you guys how I went on that lame-ass date. And it wasn't really even lame. But there was a couple of things that were not that great, okay? But I told you guys how the date went and so forth. Well, I guess there were there, there was like a comment to a, a scene. I don't, I don't recall seeing more than one comment of this nature. But I did see a comment uh, saying that, you know, 
well, let him loose or something about some, something in regards to, well, he'll be a good guy for somebody else. Some shit like that. Something like that. I did get an email and I was just like perplexed. Like, are you serious right now? Are you really going to send me an email about a motherfucker who I barely even know? Like, I don't know if it was supposed to be for real talk because the subject wasn't real talk, but it was sent to me. You know what I'm saying? But I figured I'm just going to share this with you guys because hey it is what it is i mean everybody's entitled to their opinions you can think how you want you can do as you please you know what i'm saying you can even send out emails to me okay and and it is it's not like i'm gonna take it any type of way i might just take it in a negative way i might just take it in a positive way i might just take it in as nothing at all one ear out the other you know what i'm saying some shit like that <sighs> if it was supposed to be for real talk it didn't say that but it is it is for today so i'm gonna read this to you guys um and then I'm going to go on to the real talk, real talk. Mm. Muffins. That's how she started it. Muffins. So are he, whoever. Muffins. So first, hello. So glad you finally decided to get over your ex and find a new man. But can I just say you really lack skills on dating. You barely gave that new guy a chance. You went out with him one time, and from that, you decided he was not worthy of you. How can you decide that on a first date? That's like judging a book by its cover. I say you do not know anything about dating. To me, it seems like you are stuck on your ex, and if I'm wrong, please correct me. But that's just a vibe that I'm getting, and I feel like that's a reason why you didn't want to go back out with the delivery man. Oh, good man. Oh, good men are hard to find, and he seemed like a winner. At least he has a job that he was consistent at. Don't you think that's a plus? Yeah, we all say things that may be over the line, but that doesn't mean that's who we really are. I'm just saying. I'm just saying you should give him another chance, girl. We're not getting any younger these days. And when all this internet dating, you never know who you're going to meet. And at least you know of him or somewhat of him. I'm just trying to open your eyes to the dating scene. It gets better after several dates. I felt this way about my soon to be husband, who I have not been who I have who I have not been with three years and we met at a friend's barbecue. Maybe she meant who I have been with. Um he um but anyway, she met him at a friend's barbecue. He wasn't my type then, but sure is now, and I just want the same happiness for you. Love concerned diva. Okay, first of all, you guys, I hope I'm coming in crispy clear. Okay. First of all, concerned diva you seem to be a little fucking off and this is just how i feel did you not pay attention to what the fuck i was saying in the real talk last week about the question that he asked me on on the first date do i miss being intimate who in their right mind asked a woman or anybody that on a first date unless you thirsty desert 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 sand fucking thirsty. I would think at the age of 50, you would be a little, a whole lot of mature by now to not ask those type of questions on a date, especially not a first date, let alone a second or a third. Who asked that? Like, you seem like a thirst bucket if you ask me some shit like that. I let that go over my shoulder, concerned diva, okay? But was it that part you missed or did you miss the part where um he was talking about my finances, basically meaning my phone and, you know, like I spend my money on stuff like that. And, or did you miss the part where I drove 46 miles, 23 and 23 to give him a ride down to the street from his sister's house to pick up, to exchange breaks, which was only a mile, 1.5 miles from his sister's house to AutoZone. Did you miss that part where I said that? Did you miss the part that I had to loan $10? Did you miss the part that I got a text early in the morning at five o'clock? Which, which one did you forget or not hear or pay attention? Did you not pay attention to the whole goddamn fucking thing? I'm all for giving people chances, but sweetheart, for one, let's just get this. Let's get this under wraps real quick. Stuck on my ex. I don't know if that's what you want to call it, stuck on my ex, but do you not know that we've been together for 22 years, okay? I've been with the same person for 22 years. Why wouldn't I be stuck on him? Hmm? Yeah, I am hurt right here 
from the core from what transpired in this breakup, but I still have feelings for the man. Would I be back with him? Not at all. She said, um, I don't know anything about the dating scene. I don't know if I should take that as a good thing or a bad thing. Because if you know about the dating scene, that might mean that you a hoe or a thought. And I don't even want to be portrayed as as such. Second of all, I, I don't I don't really care to really know too much about the dating scene, especially if I've been with the same person for 22 years. I don't think I would know anything about it. But I'm not about to give somebody a second chance when I was not attracted to you after after the first date. Like, let's just be for real. I get that people are happy when they are with a spouse. Some people are happy when they're not with a spouse. And I'm one of those people. I don't need a relationship to make me happy. And this is what you guys don't really understand. And maybe not all of you may understand. Maybe not all of you understand. Not all. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. How, my, how should I word this? There are some of you that don't understand. Some of you nosy ass bitches that really think you know so much, but you don't understand. I have been with the same person for 22 years. We broke up, we, we, we divorced and got back together. I think that maybe I would be stuck on him, especially if he's the only man that I've ever loved, okay? So I think I would be stuck on him. Dating scene, I don't really care about a dating scene. I don't even care about a relationship, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really entrusted my heart in that one person and I really loved him, so... I don't even foresee myself even wanting to be bothered with anybody else, to be quite frank and honest with you. There are some of us women out here that we might have went through a bad relationship or two and just decided, I love my single life. That might be with me somewhat because, yeah, I was with the same person and I love him dearly. But it also means that I am very, very much so happy with being single. I enjoy it. I'm not really too concerned about a man huffing and puffing all over me or doing things for me that I can do for myself, okay? Um, I can love myself. Um, I have a family that loves me. I'm happy. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm fine. And I don't... It's just like I don't really know what to say about about or how I should take this email as as far as I don't know much about the dating scene. Okay, I I ain't gonna argue with you on that because you're right. I damn sure don't. And people, listen, I didn't even know what Tinder was for the longest until my son, God bless his soul, had to explain it to me and also had to tell me how it was spelled. Girl, I thought it was spelled like chicken tenders. Okay, so you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm not, you're right, I'm not on a dating scene, she said, you know what I'm saying, but she was just like, a good men are hard to find, and he seemed like a winner, at least he had a job that was consistent, isn't that a plus, just because he got a job that's consistent don't mean shit, bitch, he could be a fucking murderer, a rapist, a thirst bucket, it, that, just because you got a job, shit, serial killers got a job, bitch, what are you talking about, okay, um, she's just trying to open up my eyes, and also, she wants the same happiness for me. Well, sweetheart, I appreciate you wanting the same happiness for me. You know what I'm saying? If you like it, I love it. I appreciate that. Um, you, you fail to realize that I am happy. I enjoy my life. So I'm, I'm good. So maybe my happiness might be beyond yours. Maybe my happiness is a little bit more than yours because I don't need a man to be in a relationship with to love me. Either way, I appreciate your concern, diva, okay? But I'm I'm doing just well over this way. And um, if you're so concerned about who he's dating, I can give you his number and you can date him. Oh, but better yet, you, why would you want to? Because you're soon to be husband. Yeah, I'm going to leave that alone right there. I appreciate the love and the concern, but I'm just fine. I just thought that the email was crazy. Like, are you serious? I'm not judging a book by its cover. I'm not giving him another chance. Um, maybe I am stuck. I don't I don't know, but I'm like, let me just share this with y'all. What do y'all think about the whole email that I received? Like, the muffins email. Because you surely did title it muffins okay muffins like like you know we real cool like that like chummy chum chum where you can just be like muffins that's the people that do that to me those people that just be like muffins those are the people that we i'm cool with you know what i'm saying like we cool concerned diva is is like muffins we we just the besties right here but what do you what do y'all think on that I ain't know really what to think about it. 
I didn't know if it was a good thing that I didn't really know much about the dating scene. I didn't know if it was a bad thing that I didn't know. Like, I just didn't know. So anyway, y'all leave your comments below. But thank you, Concern Diva. So now we're going to get into the real talk, real talk. Like I said, if you want a real talk about you, go ahead and leave your, go ahead and look in the description box below for the email address where you can send it to. You can either send it to Muffin is My Lovers, 2012 at gmail.com or April's Real Talk at gmail.com. Other than that, let's get into this real talk. Huh? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn. Good afternoon, Miss April. I hope everyone is doing well when you read this. I also would like to thank you in advance for reading my Real Talk topics in, to the audience. You can call me Sherry. You can call my best friend Diamond, who I will be speaking about as I feel she shines like one. Let me give you some back history. Diamond and I became friends at a study some years ago. So many years ago to be exact. We are both in our late 20s. We hit it off and have been tight like glue. We live about 15 minutes from one another. So girl, I see Diamond about four times out of a week. Di Diamond has been with the same guy for about seven years now. One whom I would like to say is worthless and not worth her time. During the seven years, this too relaxed ninja has crept out on her at least two times that I know of. I say I know of because he had two babies on her during the time they've been together. Yes, two meaning two baby mothers, three kids because one of his kids' mothers have a set of twins. Anyway, these kids are now four and two years old. The twins are the oldest. Let's start with this. Why is she still with him? I cannot understand as I have sat with her numerous times trying to convince her that her boyfriend Marcus is useless. He barely can keep a job, runs the streets, smokes weed like it's candy. I can't find the attraction there at all. When he is running low on gas money or lunch money or whatever, he has his hand out to her, but so quick to swing his ding-a-ling to random females like it's a gold trophy. Damn. I'm her friend and I love her dearly and I have been trying for years to get her away from him. I know she can do so much better. A few days ago, we were together, and I promise you, Miss April, I know this may seem like I'm just imagining things, but Diamond has several bruises that were fresh, one on the side of her cheek, a few on her right arm, and one on her leg. I asked her what happened because she looked kind of rough. Diamond tried to tell me she fell while she fell while reinstalling the smoke detector in the ceiling. When I asked how, she says the ladder wasn't steady on the floor and she fell off with the ladder falling on top of her. I find that story so hard to believe as I was over her home a few days after that and that so-called smoke detector she claimed to have reinstalled was still chirping like it needed new batteries. I didn't mention it. I kept my comments to myself and just allowed her to believe I was going along with her story. This is not the first time I have seen her with those type of bruises. I know her and no good Marcus argue and fight. He's a clown ass ninja. He doesn't respect her. I've seen them argue. I've had to pull them apart from one another's face several times. So I'm pretty sure she was not attacked by the average household ladder. He's worthless and honestly a waste of skin and bones. It's one thing to cheat and maybe have a kid on somebody. But cheating, beating, and no funding is way too much for me. I wanted to approach her. I want to approach her and, and ask her why she is lying to me, only because I want to I want to help her, but I'm not sure how to do this. What would you do if this was your friend, your daughter, or even yourself? Please, any advice is helpful. I just don't want to feel like I'm overstepping my boundaries as a friend. Sherry. Diamond been with the same dude for seven years. Sherry saying that he done cheated on her. He got kids on her. He got a four-year-old set of twins and he got a two-year-old. Okay. He can't keep a job. He always got his hand out for money. Just, he just always got his hand out. He's swinging his dangling around like it's golden. Okay. What else did she say about him? Because God damn, it, it all boils down to... Why is her friend with this no good market? Smokes weed all day like it's candy. This is 
for her. What would I do? So she had to break them up from several fights, pulling them apart, you know. Now she keeps seeing her friend with certain bruises in certain areas. And now Diamond's trying to tell Sherry, oh, well, I fell. The ladder wasn't steady while I was reinstalling the smoke detector. But Sherry's saying, girl, I came over your house and it's still chirping like a bird. Maybe she didn't get the chance to reinstall the battery into the smoke detector and that's when the ladder fell. Maybe that's why you still hear it chirping. Who's to say you weren't really there so you can't pinpoint it, but I believe what you're saying as suspect as to the point where no good Marcus is probably putting his hands on Diamond. Now, what's a shame is the fact that Diamond, you putting up with a whole lot. I think Diamond's putting up with a whole lot of, a whole lot of. Marcus had three kids on, Di on Diamond. I say three kids, even though it seemed like it's three baby mamas, he still got three kids. You got one time to slip up and cheat on me. And if you have a baby on me, dude, we over. I, you better hope I don't run you over when I'm pulling up at a stop sign, okay? Oh, sorry, didn't see that. Didn't see that stop sign right there. Brakes failed. Okay? You better hope I don't run your ass over. What would I do? If that was if that was me personally, like I just said, you better hope I don't see you while I'm parked at a stop sign. Or not even parked, while I'm stopped at a stop sign and decide to run your ass the fuck over. If you were my daughter, if that was my daughter and that happened, you better hope that her boyfriend don't see me anywhere in the crowd or a non-crowd, anywhere in private. He just better not see me at all because if he do, he better hope that he walk away with his eyes still attached to his freaking skull. You know what I'm saying? If that was my friend, I guess I would feel the same way about myself or my daughter because that's my friend. But either way, old dude better not, he just better hope he don't see me on anywhere in general, in public, in private, whatever. This, this is crazy. Like, how many times I gotta fucking tell y'all? A no good nigga, a no good nigga. Niggas ain't shit, okay? And I, when I say niggas ain't shit, I don't just mean black men. I'm talking about men, okay? Men in general. And I don't mean all men. So some of y'all that's watching... Don't please don't have your, your underwear, your boxers in a bunch, bundle, whatever. I'm just saying, the ones that ain't shit, they ain't shit, okay? What Doja Cat said, niggas ain't shit. What is it? What is the song? Y'all y'all know the song. My daughter, she had that on her playlist and I heard it. And now I'm like, like hooked to the song because it's it's like a it's like a dope song. I think the song is dope. And I actually really do like it. The song. <clears throat> You know the song, Doja Cat Ain't Shit. What did she What did she say? Niggas ain't shit. Come up in your crib, all up in your fridge. Can't pay rent. Look at what you did. Listen to your friends. When they say niggas ain't shit. Y'all heard the song. If y'all ain't hear the song, go play it. Playlist it. I don't know. Apple Music it. However you're going to get it, YouTube it. The song is dope. I think the song is really dope. And it's true. Niggas ain't shit. Come up in your crib. All up in your fridge. Can't pay your rent. Look at what you did. Like, look at what you did. When your friends tell you niggas ain't shit, think about it. Why would your friend be telling you that nigga ain't shit? That's your friend. Like, when I say friend, I mean friend. Like, not everybody is your friend. So if a bitch tell you niggas ain't shit, and then she tries to fuck on you, man, that's not your friend. So, but a friend is a friend. That's a real true friend. They're going to be there. They're going to hold you down. And they're going to tell you the truth. Okay? Regardless of how you think and how you feel about the person. What I'm trying to say to you, Sherry, is this. That's your friend. You have to tell her. Don't feel no type of way. Don't feel scared. The only reason why you would feel scared or some type of way is if you was up to some scandalous shit and you was on the negative side. But if you know in your heart that that nigga ain't shit, all up in her crib, can't pay her rent, all up in her fridge, girl, let her know. Niggas ain't shit. No good markets need to go. There's no way I'm going to be shackled up, shaded up, laid up, booed up with a nigga that ain't shit, okay? Especially one that had kids on a mofo. Listen, there's that there's not that much desperation in the world. What did I just say? I enjoy being single. I like my single life. Why do I like it? Because of shit like this. Who the hell want to be stressed out by anybody? Especially if you're supposed to be in a relationship where y'all supposed to be sharing love with one another. But he's so eager, like eager and beaver, 
to just go ahead and swing his dingling like it's a trophy of gold out there. Like, that right there should tell you he don't really give two fucks about your friend and that he don't give two fucks about you. He really don't give two fucks about himself because if a person really cared about themselves and how they look and how they're portrayed to certain people, then he wouldn't do dumb shit like that. Your friend is probably so sleep right now that that bitch is in a walking coma. You, she, somebody needs to go and hit her upside her head and not mark his ass, but maybe you. And when I say hit her upside her head, I don't literally mean hit her upside her head, but hit her upside her head with some motherfucking knowledge, okay? Because there's not that much desperation in the world. Like, I don't give a fuck if he was the last motherfucking piece on this earth, okay? I guess I'm going to be single, all right? Single. Or just turning the girls, okay? But your friend, she really need a good talking to. Like, when I say she need a good talking to, bitch, she need a good talking to. Why should you feel some type of way? Now you seeing your friend with bruises, and you really, was, you really wasn't there to say it, that the ladder fell on her or not. I believe you, though, sis. I believe you, Sherry. I'm pretty sure that this is from the results of fighting and arguing with old dirty dick Marcus, okay? That's just... I'm pretty sure... If a nigga can't keep a job, sometimes it don't even... Look, I'm not going to take up for anybody who can't keep a job. I will hope that a grown-ass person would be able to keep a job. But sometimes people get bored with shit and they just can't keep a job. But as long as they continuously get a job, I guess that would be acceptable. I don't know where that's at. Like, that's some people accept that in a relationship or marriage or in life. I don't think that's acceptable, but I, who am I to say? You know, I'm not out here judging everybody. But I just feel like... Dude, if you are living in my house and you and you're fucking on me, eh, you'd be homeless in a second. Like, there's no way I'm putting up with that. That's your friend, Sherry. And if that was my friend, I would tell her. You did say though that you have been trying to sit there for years and talk to her. Let me tell you something, girlfriend, about that. Yeah, we don't want to have to keep telling a person that this is no good for you. This is no good for you. You see that that shit is no good for you, right? Like, you're not the one pregnant. You're not the one having babies. It's other bitches that, what are y'all, in a poly relationship? Like, sometimes, I, I, I don't even know what sometimes is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, I, like... I know if that were me, I would be so hurt. Like, could you imagine? Like, I, I don't want to imagine that. But if I was Diamond in her shoes, I would be so hurt that my boyfriend, who I call my boyfriend, is, like, out there getting other women pregnant. Like, first it was four years ago. They, so it was, he got a set of twins that's four and one that's a two-year-old. So you, you like, waited, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, how long was he just Diamond's boyfriend? You know what I mean? Like, how long was he just committed to Diamond before he decided to go on a fucking and made baby making spree? And I know it's only two kids, but if you're in a committed relationship, that's a spree when you're fucking behind their back, okay, and having babies. It's one thing to fucking cheat, but it's a whole different realm when you cheat and then you get that side bitch pregnant on your wife or your girlfriend like that's like you know how it's like a like it's another realm when, when i say another realm like okay there was a show that i used to love to watch called fringe and it came on fox and you know how like you could like time warp or i don't i don't like you, you know what i'm saying like you can you can go into a different world it's like the same world that we living in right now it, it looks like this but there's like totally different like i'm there but i'm a different type of april like i'm not this person like you, you understand what i'm saying and it's some things might be a little bit different like it's just just total opposite like that's what i mean by like it's one thing to cheat and then if you cheat and get the side bitch pregnant that's a different world that's like a different realm like there's no coming back from that like how do you especially if the bitch keep the baby you know what i'm saying that's definitely you can't even come back from that's when i don't know but i know this is wrong for me to say but if i was not the side bitch and the side bitch was pregnant with mommy i thought this bitch better have an abortion or she but like this would be me right that's how i would feel but you don't really want to feel that way but that's how i would feel but like if you cheat it's bad it's bad if you cheat but if you cheat and then and then get either pregnant or get another pregnant girl that's a whole different world like that's some shit like look I'm had to pay you off type shit. So that way, you know, Diamond don't know about this set of this set of twins and this one right here. Like, I'm how to just look, I see you when I see you. 
I'll give you money every week. You better put you better pretend to be the godfather and the and the father. Like you know what I'm saying? You better learn how to toughen it up. Even if you ain't like a real true hard dude, you better pretend to be so that way that shit don't get back home because that's a whole different world. And like for those women who have stood by their man after that, I commend you because a bitch like me would be behind bars like, can somebody put like 10 on the books for me, please? That's me. But anyway, like, you know what I'm saying? Me personally, Sherry, that's your friend. Talk to her because I, I don't really understand why women will put up with that. It can't be your self-esteem. It just poss- It just can't be. Like, I wouldn't give a fuck if you was the ugliest motherfucking duck in the world. Nobody deserves to be treated like that. And what's ugly to some may not be ugly to everybody. You know what I'm saying? I don't really like to be so judgmental and call people ugly unless I really don't like you. I'll call your motherfucking ass ugly in a minute, especially if you really are. Girl, I'm going to let you know you is a beast. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's somebody for everybody. And I don't really feel like people deserve to be treated like that. You know, that that's heartbreaking to me. And I think that right there, when you cheat on somebody, that's t- basically telling that person fuck you bitch i don't give a fuck about you i don't care how you feel i don't give a fuck how much you love me that's what you're telling the person to me that's that you kiss my ass that's that's what that's how i would take and you broke nigga there's no way you about to ask me for gas money for your own ride that's not happening and lunch money what are we in fucking elementary school who's making who's who's giving lunch monies out to boyfriends and and girlfriends nowadays nigga either you gonna eat or you gonna starve either you gonna pack your own lunch or you gonna go hungry for the day um what man do you know have his hands out like he is begging for spare change okay i'm just saying that right there is a turn off too i'm not saying you gotta be rolls royce rich but come on let's let's just have some dignity and some self-respect for your own self and carry your own weight and way okay especially if we ain't married and even if we are married you gonna have to carry the weight too my g we're not about to be over here panhandling off of your family members like your your wife or your fiance or your girlfriend who the fuck is panhandling over here listen sherry that's your friend and if i were you i would clearly set her straight sometimes besties they argue sometimes best friends they give the best advice the strongest advice sometimes you just gotta put your foot down and let her know what it is don't sugarcoat the shit because sugarcoating shit does not make it easier and better for the person who needs to be hearing this shit you know what i'm saying deal with things I know we try to say things to a person and make it seem nice. We don't want to come off as being so rude or mean or nasty. However, it doesn't mean that we have to soften up and sugarcoat shit for people. I may not know much about the dating scene, but I do know about respect and being in a relationship, okay? And I do know this. Even if you're not in a relationship, nobody deserves to be mistreated, okay? If I were you, I would definitely have a talk with her. What would I do? How would I feel? I already expressed to you how, what would I do if it were me, my daughter, my best friend, or whoever. But I just really feel like, Sherry, if that's your friend and she's really like a friend to you, then you wouldn't worry about how she's going to kind of like take it. You would just let her know where you're coming from is a place from within, from within, and hopefully she gets the point. If not, then look, sometimes some people, they got to learn on their own. You you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink, girl, okay? And regardless of how many times you may tell her and she may not get it that time, don't stop telling her because if you're a real friend, you'll just continue to keep helping her. And eventually, hopefully, God willing, she'll get, she'll get there and realize, like, no good Marcus is no fucking good. You know what I'm saying? I really don't understand why women put up with that shit, but I guess maybe there was a time and place for all of us. Girl, listen, just talk to your friend. If that's your friend, she's definitely worth repeating the same message to again and again. Okay. So on that note, you guys, I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Real talk. Leave your comments below. Let um, Sherry know what she should do. And yes, you can let me know which, what did y'all think of the Concerned Divas email to me? She, I don't know nothing about the dating scene. Well, sh- hmm. Seems like I know something, girl. All right. But I love you all. Stay deep and deep delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs the video up. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. You're done. You're done.